Hey y'all, so it's just a test, test, test on Tail Tuesdays. So, if y'all don't understand, today is a big review. I'm going to be reviewing um, The Power of Choosing Joy. I mean, the, um, sorry. Lisa, um, this is a map. Here we go. So, we can go. These short stories right here. Man, what till you just bought that All right. If I can find this lady, please get her. This is a book, y'all. It's a collection of short stories. I didn't think I was going to like it. I thought it was like Girl Power of Girl Empowerment book. But it's that and so much more. So I'm going to read your description real quick. All right. So it says, A less glittering short story collection and sporting female obsession desired by Boy Brittany. Author Roxanne Gay calls it a cosmic storyteller. So we can go from Kentucky to California desert. These 42 short stories expose the hearts of girls and women in the moments of sexual desire and fantasy, wildness and bad behavior, brokenness and fearless and more. And how to design eight teenager girls sneak out of the house and their boyfriends by sharing tracks. Most of the call from unsettling choruses to proclaim their adoration with the same man. A woman loves chase the fantasy getaway to escape the past. A love story begins over cabbages in a grocery store, and Laundry's life is consumed by obsession with a baseball star. At the death of a sister, two high school friends all kiss all night and binge watch the owner writer movies. These are cross most century stories, some long, some gone to flash, some told over text, emails, stretched readers, and nostalgia for summer nights and sultry days. They recall the intense friendships of teenage girls and the incident bonds between mothers. The first heady rush of desire and the pure exhilaration of womanhood. All will hunt up the wild souls of women so they can catch the light. I didn't even read this, y'all. I didn't read the inside. So y'all getting the first scoop. That's what it says in here. I don't ever read the inside cover of the books. I just start reading. So... Just so y'all know, that's what the inside of it said. So it says, Lisa Cross writes, many people wish they could, ferociously, tenderly, with a tremendous amount of heart. The story showcases the very best of her voice, stick with the readers long after the book is closed. The magic of so many girls, no matter who you are, no matter your circumstances, no matter your gender identity, while reading this book, you become the girls and women in these pages. You hope their hopes, dream your dreams, fantasize, and love alongside them. Lisa Cross was once some sort of sorceress. I admire these staring, sexy, haunting stories of the darkest corners of women in their lives. She for the soul and the senses and funny too. These are customers, wonderful storyteller. These stories be for dancing emotion, make you feel like you're falling in love again and again. They drop the way into moments that feel so belonging like strawberries and champagne. The crossman's characters experience like the messiness, the ache, and the most really the glory of female desire. Thrilling and intimate and compelling as music. Lisa Crossman is a cosmic Cosmetic storyteller who uses her phenomenal talents to tell the off overlooked stories of people living in the great swath of place between the left and right coast. That was so much fun. That about sums this up. I'm being really honest. That's about sums up how I felt. In each story, she took a piece of how I felt in each of my relationships. Like, From high school up to now, like this book made me cry, and I don't cry very often in books. So that tells y'all something. I don't cry often after reading books. I either laugh or say, "Oh, this is interesting," but never cry. This book made me cry. So make sure y'all get this one. If you want to go into fantasy land, if you want to get away for a moment. If you want to um, just um, indulge yourself in some desires of the heart, if you like me, you got fantasies, boom. There's like 10 pages of fantasies in here, okay? 10 stories of fantasies. If you want to venture, there's about five of them in here. If you want. Um, what's that famous guy with the horse? The little, the ones that all the ladies were obsessed with. He had long hair, long blonde hair, 
Trojan on a horse. He's in here. Okay. Read the book. Read the book. Once again, Lisa Cross Smith. So we can go. Stories. <laughs> if you don't have it, please go grab it. Bye.